So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Apple Pay with a debit card or even a credit card and whatever works best for you. So what we're going to actually do is load up the wallet app here on your iPhone. Uh, we can either click on the wallet or you can search for it or if you don't have it downloaded, make sure you download it. You're going to see a thing here that looks like this. Uh, obviously for us, we already have a bunch of debit and credit cards on here uh, for our wallet, including our ID for our state, which is really cool. So what we want to do is click on that plus icon on the top right hand side of the screen here for us. And this is where it's going to give us the opportunity to add a different card. So you can see towards the middle of the screen, there's an option for a debit or credit card. In some places, as a, a key thing here, you can actually add a transit card. And then in certain states, you can add a driver's license or state ID. So we're going to go ahead and add in our debit or credit card here. And it's going to just have us go through this process of what we're going to need to do, right? So it says uh, add cards to Apple Pay to send money to friends and make secure payments and apps on the web and in store using NFC. So you can read a little bit more if you like, but we're going to go ahead and click on continue. And the first thing it's going to actually do is going to be able to add your card through camera if you wanted to. So it's going to scan everything and go really, really quickly. But because we're obviously going to be recording here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter my card details manually here. Obviously, it knows my name already. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add in my card number for this card that we're going to be adding here today, which is my Robinhood debit card, actually. Now, before we continue on, if you are getting a value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to support monetarily, you can hit that thanks button as well so we can continue to provide free content just like this for everyone. So once I edit in the, those card numbers, you're going to see an option at the top right that says next. We're going to click on there. And here it's going to ask us for the expiration date and the security code on the card itself. So we're going to go ahead and plug that information in. And then that next button will be highlighted, which we'll go ahead and click on right after. So right now, um, I went ahead and clicked on next and it says adding card. And it takes a couple of minutes sometimes. Um, and keep in mind, not every single debit card or credit card is going to be available, although a vast majority of them will. So you go through here if you wanted to, you can definitely read through all of this uh, terms and conditions and you can click on agree if you do. So this next step over here, it says card verification. It says choose how to verify your card for Apple Pay. You can get a text, email, or you can call Robinhood to verify all those things. So for our example here, we're going to go ahead and go through text message. So that's going to be the easiest way for us to do it. And we're going to click on the next button at the top right. And now it's going to ask us if we want to set our Robinhood card as the default in our wallet, which would be the first card that comes up for us right away. If we don't want that to happen, we can click on not now, or if you do, you can hit use as the default card. Now keep in mind, you can easily switch this out if you accidentally hit that button or if you change your mind later. So we're gonna click on not now. And just like that, our Robinhood debit card is now attached to our Apple wallet and we can start using it right away at any places that accept NFCs. So that way we can go ahead and use that card. You can click on done. And now you could see it in the row with everything else as well. Now I want you to keep on learning and growing. So check out my video right over here to learn how to actually apply for an Apple credit card right through your wallet. My name is Dennis and I want to help you in that next video.